Previously on the Elf Bar Deep Dive. Now Jordan, like I say, is a creator in that. Um, yeah, lots come out about him. Do you guys think I should do a deep dive on Jordan? If you do, tell me in the comments. But anyway, he said that he was in a group chat with Alpha Bar, who was at the time trying to become, I suppose, relevant on this Likey app. Now, let's have a look at what Jordan put out. Let's go. So he was trying to join an app called Likey that I was on. I had about 400,000 followers on it. Um, so he reached out to me and tried well, I suppose I've got to do what you guys want. So here is a deep dive on Jordan Dash. Now, Jordan Dash was first introduced to us on TikTok, mainly when he stepped forward and said he had voice notes and horrible things to reveal about Elf Bar. Now, of course, if you watch the Elf Bar deep dive, you know that Jordan stepped forward in that video <laughs> and showed voice notes of Alpha Bar talking inappropriately to minors in a group chat. However, Jordan was in the same group chat, and he told us all that he was 18 when he was in there, whereas Alpha Bar was 17. Well, in reality, thanks to Jordan's mummy posting this on Facebook, Jordan was actually 19 years old, heading towards 20, when he was in that group chat. As you can see, the dates all match up. Those voice notes were dropped on the 23rd of the 3rd, 2021, which is exactly that date in the calendar. So, of course, Jordan was saying, guys, look at these inappropriate voice notes that Elf Bar is sending. And of course they were inappropriate and they were horrific. We've covered it in the Alpha Bar Deep Dive. However, alarm bells were going off in my brain being like, well, hang on a minute. That was years ago. You were 19 years old in that chat. And then he said that there was actual 10-year-olds in that chat. So yeah, let's get into this. So I found out that one of the girls that was in the group was one of the girl's sisters who was actually 10 years old. Then the other girl was like 14, I think, at the time. That just gives some more context. Uh the context you've just given us is that you were in a group chat with 10-year-olds when you were 19. So, of course, with that sort of context, people started to look into Jordan Dash, or should we say Jordan Powell, and try and work out who he is. What's he about? Now, if you headed over to Likey and searched Jordan Dash, two accounts would come up uh, that strike your attention. First would be his verified account that is top of that search over there. And secondly, this account right next to me. Now, I've obviously edited some of those images to protect the child involved. However, it was a troll account made of Jordan Dash. Now, Jordan spoke about this himself. Do you guys actually think this is me? It's literally blocked. It blocked me. The account blocked me on my main account. I'm logged in. Why would I follow 5,000 people, 2,600 followers, a couple of thousand likes? That's pathetic. What is this? Like... Yeah, I mean, like, who would only have that many followers and follow that many people? God, you guys are scum. <laughs> scum! What is this? Like, I had over ten times that. And however many times that? 500,000 times that. What? Why would I do this to myself on a platform where I'm popular on? I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm uh, kind of a big deal. You, everyone that thinks that this is true, you're just delusional. You're so gullible, man. It's unreal. Now, I have a theory, uh, Jordan, to why this troll account was created with captions like, I love my girlfriend. It's because you did so many inappropriate and weird videos with kids that, you know, people started trolling you for that behavior but let's not get ahead of ourselves 
So while Jordan was under my eye and I was thinking, hang on, something sus about him, and I was looking into him, I was also trying to get to the bottom of what was going on with Alpha Bar. So at this point, it was time to ask Jordan a few questions. I asked Jordan, I have three questions. Did you report this to the police at all? If you did, what was the outcome? And if you didn't, why not? I was after a complete picture. What proof do you have that the mobile number is actually linked to Alpha Bar? And what proof do you have about the ages of the children within the chat? Now, this was before he'd put out his second video with all of that information. He says, I don't know why I didn't at the time. I think it's because we all just thought he was weird. Sorry, guys, for the misgendering of Alpha Bar. Jordan does not care about that sort of thing. Uh, and we're going to discuss later on what his opinion of people are in that community. Um, we all just thought he was weird and then he got kicked out or left. I have the numbers so the police can track it if they want to and see it circles back to him. The proof I have already shown and the WhatsApp chat I have exposed. So I have a zip file with everything in it. So because he said he had a zip file, I just said, can you email it to me? And I asked him if he'd reported it recently. He said, what's my email? I told him how to do that. Uh, he then said, I sent you the email. Please let me know if you haven't received this, as it's about the file being too big. And now I play Jordan here a little bit and I say, no email, not even a blank one. Now, most of you guys will know if you use email that if you were to send an email with a large attachment that the email then didn't send, you wouldn't receive an email at all you just wouldn't receive an email at all that then prompted jordan to send this email like i said an email just wouldn't come through if the attachment was too big this just seemed like deception but i couldn't be too sure because he was having issues with the zip file i said to him just send the most shocking things including the messages, not just alphas, so that people could see what was going on. I said, have you got any evidence about the parents entrusting you with monitoring a group chat with their kids in it? Um, and did you tell the parents what has happened? He sent the screenshots over that we used in Alpha's Deep Dive, which really actually made it look like Alpha was going along with things that they were doing. Um, I have proof if the audio is too. I used my other phone to record it, so just syncing. I said proof about the number being hers. Um, two seconds I'll try, I said. I found the chats that I had with him. So I asked about whether it was verified on Likey or not. That was to determine which Likey account actually belonged to Jordan. So, of course, I began looking through Jordan's Likey account and found videos like this. Now, I want you to listen very carefully to the lyrics. Obviously, I've decided to censor where you can see this child's face. But here we are. Absolutely insane. Now, this girl featured in here is the girl that the troll account used to say that it seemed like they were dating, which, quite frankly, it's all weird, isn't it? It's weird that he was filming with minors, and I'm not surprised somebody tried ripping him with that account. I asked Jordan who was this girl, as she was featured very heavily on his page, and he was featured very heavily on hers. He said the app was either full of weird adults or younger people or people his age. I was one of the popular creators, so I collabed. It's what creators do. I don't know if the mother would want to put herself out here. Uh, that isn't her thing to do, but I literally FaceTimed her last night talking about all of this. Now... I've already put this out before. I was asking for more messages from the Alpha Bar, but just asking specifically for the ones surrounding that voice note. 
He then goes on to say, but the app changed their rules for creators, where if they were live, they would have to have an adult on the screen. So all the parents knew about me and who I spoke to. I need to send you the export, and then it's going on about that email again. Now, of course, Jordan started to get a little bit panicky because everybody was pointing out this to Jordan and saying, why were you collabing with so many children? You've got to remember, on that app, it wasn't 18 at the time uh, some of these collaborations were made. Uh, he was 19 going on 20. Uh, but anyway, he decided he was going to call one of the parents on a TikTok live and that would clear everything up. Now, I've not watched all of this, so I'm going to react to it with you. But I wouldn't imagine that it clears much up. Uh, but who knows? And please check out my Instagram videos. Every most oh, fucking hell. Please follow me on Instagram. We'll get back to that. Like, honestly. Things are explained in there now. Hello. Hello, can you hear me, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. So, obviously, you know, you know what it's like. And, you know, it's just needing to kind of prove to them that it's... I hate his fucking attitude. His attitude's always like, um, like people are below him. Like people are below him. And you know what it's like. I need to explain to these morons, these idiots. That sort of attitude, you know? That it was because we're creators, you know, I was friends of the family, you know, like. Oh, I'm the mum of the daughter that I suppose that you're referring to. Yeah. This woman sounds like Jordan's mum. I've not heard this, but I have spoken to Jordan's mum because Jordan's mum came on a live stream and we're going to watch that later on and had a go at me. So you bear that in mind later because... I immediately thought that's who this was there. What is it that you want to know or they want to know? Yeah, well, what well, guys, what is it that you guys want to know? Like... There's a lot of, uh, on the app that he's referring to, anybody who's under the age of, whatever it was, it's 18, mm. they usually have a guardian or a parent. So it's very common to meet up with other parents and if you were under the age, there was always a parent there and you would do, like, joint videos together. Yeah, this is his mother. This is his mother ringing from the other room, must admit. Like, I am, I am absolutely sure it is. The thing is, you see, in this call, there's nothing done at all to prove, to prove that the lady on the phone is actually who he says they are. Um, and this was, like, trying to get ahead of what people were saying to him about these videos um there wasn't any parents in that whatsapp group just jolly boy so it was just a bunch of people who were all friends um and that was pretty much it really i mean all the see this person speak and and yeah it just seems really pre-planned i mean we're going to see videos later on of jordan facetiming children and getting them to dance for him and stuff like this is not the extent of what he was doing online. Videos that he's ever done, I've been there with my daughter. That's it, really. It was just literally content. Nothing. That's literally what it was. We were doing videos for YouTube, TikTok, Likey, Instagram, you know, social media stuff. And obviously we collabed. You know, she was there as well. We, you know, went out, did YouTube videos. We did challenges. You know, we went in uh, food. Like, it's just something that you do as a creator. Like, you just collab. He brings that up to me later. He told me in the messages uh, that I wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand because I don't have a platform like Jordan. There's literally nothing in this that proves that this woman is who he says she is. Um, and I am quite suspicious that this is actually his mother. I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side with the voices here, right? Uh, so this is the voice in the phone call. We do, like, joint videos together. So it was just a bunch of people who were all friends. And then in the live... It's my little boy, and I don't appreciate... There we go, my little, little boy. My... Now... It's hard to tell because obviously the second clip is more irate and there's a bit of shouting, but that sounds very similar to me. 
what do you guys think tell me in the comments and don't forget as well guys while we're here the boring bit make sure to like this video comment below share it out it really helps with awareness so i then asked jordan more questions i said um he basically says he doesn't need to explain why he was friends with a 13 year old he said if the only people who i followed are kids and i get that but i know people of all ages and i said you get what and he says i find it very weird that i need to explain every single person who i follow i said have you been on likey today now this was because i'd looked at his following list the previous night and he was following at least 10 children's accounts all of which who had small followings and definitely not creators worth collabing with. He said, um, I'd understand if every single I person I follow were kids, but they aren't. So if one or two randomly come up, it's strange. Why is that being made into such a big thing? I said, have you been in? And he said, no, he hadn't been on Likey. I said, not even in the last 24 hours said yesterday yeah but not today why and i said because in the last nine hours you've unfollowed a few accounts on there also do you think it's appropriate for you to be friends with anyone who's 13 year old he said because people are making such a fucking big deal out of nothing i followed people because they sent gifts but if people are making that into a big deal, I'll get rid of them. So his story's changed again. He was following them to do collaborations with them. Now he's following them because the gift. Um, but if people are making that into a big deal, I'll get rid of them. I said, so you've been on Likey and unfollowed people. Uh, and, he and he basically said that he had. And I was like, so that's a yes. So you lied. Why lie? It might have been because he didn't want people looking at duets like this. A trend where children were revealing parts of their body on camera. I mean... It's just, honestly, guys, like... I, just encouraging that sort of behaviour. And of course, Jordan was really worrying and he was putting out all sorts of things. But it was very easy to clap back at how silly these excuses were. Do you not see that he's trying to twist it around and be like, yeah, but he was doing duets with kids. They weren't sexual. I think we all know the lyrics here and what they're talking about. I know I love them. And you're telling me that wasn't that way? And of course, then Jordan wanted us to start feeling sorry for him. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. So of course, people wanted answers from Jordan. And people were setting up live streams and discussing the issue. Jordan decided to come in himself and give his two cents now i'm not going to put the full thing up but the full thing is on the observer on youtube go and check them out i'll pop the link below um but i want to just react and show you what jordan's attitude was to all of this red flag or whatever like i've explained everything whatever. already grit, grit, there's no grit. evidence on me of doing anything bad is there if there's evidence go for it like i had evidence on alpha bar yeah. you said go for it jordan this is your deep dive so do you understand why, why did you so annoyed because there's nothing jordan jordan why did you have to muster the strength to bring it to social media instead of mustering the strength both i wanted because what I'm bringing up to him here is that he said he had to muster up the, the strength to bring the allegations somewhere, wherever, talk about them several years later. But he'd actually already done this on social media once and he didn't get a lot of clout or attention for it. So he went away and then he came back and did it again. And this is the one that we're talking about. And in none of those times where he mustered up the strength to bring it to social media, did he muster up the strength to take it to the police? 
to the show his no, audience. No, you didn't. This what is the second time wrong? you brought it on the social media. What do you mean? What? This is the second time you brought it to social no, media. I, this isn't the, the first. first. Time, the first time didn't say what it was about at all. And there he is, admitting it. So why didn't you go to the police then? You managed to bring it to social media. You managed to build up because the strength and the emotional resilience to bring it once already. I wanted his audience to know what he had done. And did then you? I thought, well, that's oh, shit, failed. I so why didn't you go to the, the police? police? And then I have. I, and then well, now I have. And I've realised, shit, I should have done it. And now I have. No, Jordan, that's a different timeline. You brought it to here. You brought it to social media in some way. It flopped. You didn't get the views you liked. Then you came but back it and did it again it on social media. About. So why didn't you go to the police between the first time and now? Because I didn't think, like, didn't quite because, have he was the... 17, because he was 17 at the time, I thought, oh, nothing is going to come of it. But now I know more about law and, you know, the age thing and stuff. Since so what this law has happened, he? Now right, I okay. realise. You know more about the law now? Yeah, have you been to the police then? Like, obviously you think you know he's so seen, much and things. Seen You've seen so what offence have they committed? Huh? What offence have they committed? Well, that's why I didn't, that's why I thought I didn't know. Well, the fact that he doesn't know what offence has been committed means he hadn't reported it to the police. The police would have logged it as a particular crime and he would have been aware of what that is. We're investigating them for malicious communications. We're investigating them for harassment. Other things that I can't see on here. Um, yeah. So, yes, I have deleted some of the duets that I did on my Likey account. But that's because I don't want or need these kids' faces all over TikTok. Like, it's just not needed. They've sent me a certain amount of money, gifts, and they've gotten this as, like, a, you know, kind of reward, as a thank you for these gifts. So, you know... Didn't have any issue with them being all over social media before people were saying it was a bit strange. So did you, Jordan? Uh, yeah... Now, of course, the reality is that Jordan was making videos that normalise sexual behaviour to minors, which is a common technique used in grooming. Now, look at this video, for example. Kids thinking this song is about clapping. Now, what's the song? Draco. It's a song by Soldier Boy, and he says, when in reality... I'm not explaining. So he's encouraging people, encouraging children to go and find out what it actually means. So if they were to search in their search engine, soldier boy, she made a clap meaning. The first thing would come up would be this. Now it says, what does it mean? It means a man's sexual attraction to a woman who can move her body in a way that claps. Jordan is encouraging children to find out the meaning of that. And even if we look in Jordan's comment section, I mean, here we have an account, official Sky, I no problem, and Jordan's offering a bit of a FaceTime later. Now let me put in all of the censorships I need to then show you guys that this account is a child's account. But yeah, there's also videos of him FaceTiming minors and getting them to dance. Now this was uploaded onto Jordan's account as you can see there, FaceTime Entertainment. Um, and we can clearly see him there, up in the top of the screen, having a FaceTime with minors. And of course that is just a handful of examples of Jordan's inappropriate behaviour with children on social media. Um, but if we look at this video and then the comment section, you'll see that Jordan was regularly being pulled up on social media for his creepy and over-sexualised behaviour on the Likey app. Walk around the streets without a shirt on. I think women should have every right. I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining. 
might be talking on behalf of all men here. You can walk around the street. Now you can see. Great point there. This is why we can't do it because of gross men like you who would wake up, choose to with women. Lots of people calling them out on do you think this is an appropriate joke or comment to make on an app that is geared towards young children. And I want to sort of end the video showing exactly what kind of person Jordan really is. Uh, now, this is when Jordan is asked to stop misgendering somebody. His response to me was quite shocking, really. Oh, I, I, wonder, I wonder if there was some sort of governing body you could go to and ask. Oh, I don't want to skip if you don't like her. Misgendering, seriously. Uh, uh, no, stop misgendering. Uh, no, oh, I don't please, give a shit if you don't like her. He has a dick. Stop being a cunt. He has a dick. Stop it's being oh, a cunt. Oh, wow. Well, is that, is that your view seriously. on the whole trans oh, community? Fuck all of you. Fuck off, mate. You see, Jordan believes that it's okay to misgender somebody if it's somebody he doesn't like. Now, I've spoke out publicly on this app several times and said that is absolute bullshit <laughs> should never do something like that and quite frankly uh, the person he's talking about alpha bar there are so many things you could say about that person that are deflammatory about their character without having to hit at a community and and poke holes at everything like that it, but of course jordan then ends it by uh telling everybody to we all that your view? Of space. Not You're all a waste of space, mate. You're all yeah, trying yeah. to get clout. You should all be a little bit more like you, you shouldn't we? Clout, but it's you're literally you're using me. You're, you're using me. Involved. You call yourself. You I tell us to go on and alive ourselves. And there we have it, guys. That was the deep dive on Jordan Dash, Jordan Powell. A concerning way to behave on social media. But you give me your honest opinions and tell me what you think below. Also, make sure to let me know who you think deserves a deep dive next. Catch you later, guys. Peace.